Good afternoon. Had a delivery this afternoon. Got another bike. Free. They didn't charge me for this one. I've got a, uh, um, a kids BMX downstairs as well. Uh, I decided I'd drag this one upstairs. It's a rally solo. Uh, it's only got five speed speeds, five gears, however you want to call it. I think. I haven't actually counted, I've just assumed it's five speed. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Because as you can see there's no sticker on the gear lever anymore. Um the front crank is seized. See? That won't spin. Either that or the chain has seized, one of the other. One of the other. Now it's got a pretty pink bottle cage on it. Uh Cantilever brakes, piece of uh, plastic carrier bag, gear cable is all wrapped up around here. I know it's the gear cable because both brake cables are still connected. Uh, and I don't know if I can do it. Can you see that headset wobbling? <laughs> Completely unscrewed for some reason. Uh, what am I going to do with it? I'm not sure. Part of me wants to, uh, oops, sorry about that. Part of me wants to, uh, break it for parts. And the other part of me wants to go ahead and fix it up. Because even if, even fixed up, it's still a 20 quid bike. And to be honest, with a new chain on it and up to lick a black paint on that crank and a good clean and replace these rusty nuts with some nice ones might be able to replace that hanger for the front brake cable if I've got one may not have one identical to that but I know I've got some um, yeah it'd be good to go this is a weird thing as well, what I've done in the brake lever no, it, it looks like they've put two cable adjusters together. <laughs> yeah, they ha No, it is actually a cable adjuster. Well, I've never seen one like that before. I'm guessing that one's the original one. Or the original style, which I have replacements of anyway, so... Handlebar grips aren't in too bad condition. Hmm. You know, I was going to break it for parts, but looking at it up here, I think I may actually give it a go. The tyres are good. The wheels are straight. It's not making any grindy or squeaky noises when it free wheels. The biggest issue on it, really, is the... Uh, I'm not sure if it's the... There's a bit of wobble coming from that free wheel. I'll have to look into that. I think it is actually the um, bottom bracket that has seized, which isn't a problem. Uh, I'm going to paint up those cranks, which is a cheat. I wouldn't go out and buy a can of paint just to do that. I've uh, got some black paint spare, so I might as well use it up. I'll just tart them up a little bit and make them look cleaner. But I've still got a, when it's done, I've probably still got a. 25 quid bike at least sitting here and like I said I don't mind doing the work as I've said in previous videos because I enjoy doing these so there's a few marks on the frame aren't there? some of them might clean off I think it's worth at least 20 quid done if it's all in good working order no, I could have easily nicked the can of evil brakes off of this because I've got a bike downstairs, which is my own personal bike, which uh, requires a complete set of these, which uh, I may actually go on eBay and buy a set if I can find a set at a decent price. Uh, I couldn't find any of these sort of cheaper versions, only the Shimano Altus and Dior types, and even for a second-hand set, people are asking a decent sum of money for them so but they do come with all the brake pads and brake leaves as well so 
I suppose they're asking fair prices. I think the most expensive pair I saw this morning was, well, it might have been last night when I looked actually, it was about £20 for a set, which uh, isn't too bad. I don't suppose anyway. I don't know, I don't know what bike parts are really worth. What I've ever done is build them up, got them working, and sold them. <laughs> That's about it. The seat is in good condition. Because I was going to pinch that and put that on my Muddy Fox. <laughs> oh, speaking of Muddy Fox, I've, uh, um, I should say, I watched a video from RJ the Bike Guy this morning, and he was talking about um, these type of brakes with the cantilevers and how these levers are designed to work with cantilevers and V-brake levers are designed to work with V-brakes, which I didn't actually know. I always assumed you know, a, brake, a brake lever was a brake lever and that would work regardless. But um, apparently it's to do with the, um, I can't remember what he said now, but something to do with the, the amount of cable the levers are, amount to, are, um, amount to, are able to pull. And it's different for each brake type of brakes and brake levers, which explains why on my Muddy Fox, when I put the V brake brakes on the frame and didn't change the brake levers, I was using the original brake levers that were meant for the uh, canty levers that were on the Muddy Fox originally. That actually explains why them brakes were quite spongy, and even though they, I didn't have to pull the brake lever down too far and I could pull it down that far and the brake pad would touch the wheel but I could also do that all the way down no matter how I adjusted them and, um, RJ the bike guy did say that was to do with the amount of cable they pull in here it's different uh, so what I went down and done is um, change the brake levers because as you know with my Muddy Fox, if you go back and look at my videos, the brake levers had this sort of style gear lever all incorporated. I didn't really want to change the whole lot, but I haven't got any cantilever brakes. So I went ahead and looked at my box of brake levers and found a pair for V brakes and a pair of... Um... Um gear shifters. I only had six speed so I had to change this free wheel on the wheel to a six speed free wheel. That's not, that's not hard to do. It only took me all the five minutes. And I uh, swapped everything over and now the brakes work perfectly. So I learned something today. It's only taken me 15 years to learn that. And 15 years plus to learn that. <laughs> As I say, you're never too old to learn. And uh, I'm mostly self-taught anyway, so there's still things related to bikes that I'm still learning. So uh, I will keep that in mind, thanks to RJ the Bike Guy. He uh, does some top videos and some top advice. As you can notice with me, he uses rubbing alcohol to remove handlebar grips. I use a squirt of WD-40, only want a little squirt. But uh, we were talking about that in one of his videos as well, and the problem with that is, he's right, it does leave a greasy residue, so your grips may not um, stick to the handlebars as they should. I've experienced both. Sometimes they're fine, sometimes they're not. I think it just depends how much WD-40 you've used, and if you allow the WD-40 to dry off, or if you dry it off yourself before you return the handlebar grips. You can use water, that works. I've uh, used water myself. It does require a bit more wiggling with a screwdriver or something else similar, of a similar size, to uh, get the handlebar grip off. But water does work. Anywho, that is my new project. I know the weather's getting nice, so I will do these downstairs, and I'll probably won't bother filming it. 
so I can get on a lot better and a lot faster without the camera there. Because the camera tends to, to uh, distract me. <laughs> uh, I might film some of it. The tire tread is pointing towards me. Now, sometimes that means they've ran the wrong way, but uh, I always double check and see if there's an arrow on the side that points the direction of rotation. Yeah, it is around the wrong way. I think. Oh, no, it isn't. It is actually on the right way for the rear. It is on the right way. So it's always good to check. Can't just go by the uh, direction of tread. That one might be, though. <laughs> can't find it. <laughs> oh well, I'll just sort that out later. So, that's the new project. That shouldn't take you too long to do. And the weird thing is, I've just noticed that the gear cable is actually connected. So, what the heck is this cable? To? Oh, some bright spark has put on a new cable down to here, but they haven't cut it down, they've just wrapped it around. <laughs> they put an extra long this on as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose if it worked, but the brake didn't actually work. I will uh, take the um, bearings out of the uh, steerer tube there and check those. Anywho, that's it for this video. So uh, stay tuned for an update on the girls' bike. Ta-ta.